My name's Leanne Lundy, I'm part of the Urban Pollution Research Centre at Middlesex University. We work on a wide range of studies, we're particularly interested in looking at options for mitigating the effects of environmental pollutants. I'm Peter Worrell, I'm the Technical Director of Penny Anderson Associates. We are a consultancy group specialising in ecology. In the countryside, rainfall can soak into the ground. If you move into an urban area, it's all impermeable surfaces. When the rain flows over roads and pavements, it mobilises pollutants. And we're looking at different approaches to stopping the release of these pollutants. Middlesex University has really been at the forefront of this whole sustainable drainage development before the notion of SUDS, sustainable drainage system, was actually couched. They were already researching into that kind of thing. And besides Middlesex having the science, they also had a philosophy. They wanted that science to be applied into the environment. We've been working on a rain garden, looking at how these systems perform in a dense urban environment. I come here every two weeks to download the data from the devices that were installed in the rain garden by Tom's Water. This is where they take all the water from the rooftop. And this rain barrel is just here for a purpose because we have uh, tipping bucket devices to control and to count for with a two minute interval of the all the water coming into the rain garden. Because it has been raining a bit those last few days, you can see there is some water on the side of the tipping bucket. And then the data is stored here in this data log. And then I download into the laptop. I also collect soil samples from the rain garden and all the samples are taken back to university and you, using the very good resources they have to give us the results and analyze and see how efficient is being the rain garden. Our research here has always been applied, looking at research in practice, because our research is targeted to meet the needs of practitioners. The research tools that we're producing are the kind of tools they need. The real core of all this, about the link between the academic institution and the practitioner, is that they almost transpose their research in a way that makes it accessible to the consultancy world so that we can then use it. It gives us confidence that we're saying we're designing something or, or developing a proposal that has some sort of solid foundation in science. Because of our long history of working in partnership with different organisations, they know that we produce work that is useful and usable, so we're well placed to continue.